Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I've got a little bit of a uh, review, an overview of uh, a new little gadget that my wife kindly bought for me uh, from eBay. It's uh, and it's an infrared thermometer. Um, it reads between minus 50 and 380 degrees C, or minus 58 Fahrenheit to 716 Fahrenheit. Um, the construction of it is uh, pretty rigid. Uh, when uh, I've seen them on eBay and I've had one in my watch list for quite a while. You can get them on Amazon as well. Uh, they're roughly uh, about six or seven pounds, which is, I don't know, probably, what, about $10, I think, US. Um, I didn't expect it to be quite as uh, solid uh, as it is. You know, the thing doesn't flex or anything like that. It feels pretty solid. You've got the three buttons on the back, which we'll go through in a moment. On the front, you've got the trigger. And then this here is a laser to give you an indication of what you're taking the temperature of. And in here is the infrared uh, sensor that takes your temperature reading. So at this particular one, um, you, you uh, pull down there and the uh, battery compartment is here. This one takes uh, two AAA batteries. Uh, I've seen some that take uh, the square 9 volt batteries and I imagine they probably last a lot longer but uh, I don't know what the current draw is going to be uh, on this sort of device so that just snaps back into place there now there's no on off switch with it basically when you press the trigger it turns it on and immediately starts taking uh, a temperature so we'll just turn the device on so the screen is uh, backlit and you can turn that on and off with this button here so it's just, okay, so this button here turns the backlight on and off and you get an indication on the screen there with a little bulb. This button here turns the laser on and off. So if we turn it off and then take a temperature reading, it's a little bit cold in here this morning, I haven't put the heating on. So it's reading naught degrees apparently, I'm not sure it's that cold, but it could possibly be, it's about minus four outside at the moment. So if we turn the laser on, and then you can just see there that it um, uh, basically it gives you an opportunity to know exactly what point you're taking the temperature reading from. When you release the trigger, uh, it holds the temperature for you. So as you move the thing around and it takes different temperature readings, as soon as you take your finger off the trigger it locks it to that point uh, which is uh, really useful this button here which is the last button that is cycles between Fahrenheit and Celsius so uh, what sort of thing would I use this for well taking temperature without having to touch anything is very useful because you're not at risk of getting burnt or anything like that but um, one thing where this would come in handy is when I did the brakes on the MR2 uh, one of them was dragging, which was a bit hard to tell until I dismantled that particular wheel, which was the rear passenger. But um, you could feel the wheel was warm, but uh, this would give me an indication by taking a temperature reading off the discs or the wheel. If one was reading significantly higher than the others, then I know I'd have a dragging brake problem. So that could be the sort of thing that you could take it for. I'm sure it's got many other uses, but uh, that's pretty much the device. Um, I'll put a link to uh, this particular one. Uh, I think it's excellent value for money. Uh, it auto turns off as you see there. As soon as you pull the trigger, it turns back on again and starts taking a reading. So um, that's that, infrared thermometer. Bought on eBay for about, or Amazon I guess, for about seven pounds. Uh, that's it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.